kind of want to go there, but simultaneously, I don't. But I, I kind of do. I'm going to go there. I hope you guys don't mind. Mm. Die, blue. That's right. I killed the blue. He's dead now. This is looking like a pretty horrible place, but there is a lever. And levers lead to good times. Look at how good this time is. I can go there now. I can clearly see the thing on the left over there being like, yo, grab me, please. That would be lovely if you could. If you could just grab me real quick, then you and I can start our own life together and it will be a, as romantic as many of the events portrayed in the comedy show Friends back in the day. And that's relevant to, to my knowledge of things in the world. So, you know, I can't really say no to that. Uh, eventually. But first we're gonna go over here, because this will lead to that same dead end of the charge shot. Uh, inevitably being the charge shot. I'm still just guessing that it's gonna be the charge shot that will open these walls, but... It leads me to the same place, and I kinda wanna see what's over here. You have found a large spirit light container. Spirit light has been added to your circle. Find more spirit light containers to quickly gain ability points, so, alright? That's yeah, cool. That's yeah, fine, I can do the... I can do those things. I'm not just going to go back up again because I don't really want to have to deal with more of your shenanigans. I want to break that too, man. I just want to have something that breaks things. That's all I want. I just want to destroy more things. Why is that so much to ask for? God. God, game. God. Uh, have I gone down there yet? No. I mean, I know I don't have to go here right now, but simultaneously, this is now very much a dead end now. So that seems good. <laughs> Oh no, the spirit that died here was strong and courageous. Listen to his voice. He was able to focus our light. How convenient. Are we getting a charge shot for chance? Mm -hmm. You have learned charge flame. To use this ability, hold extra charge, then release extra detonate and damage everything in proximity. Okay then. I will do these things. Most fervently. First of all, I will destroy this blue. Hold X to charge flame. Get get over there, please. Oh. Yeah, that's nice. I did use up one of my blue bubbles, though, and that's no good. But maybe I can get more blue bubbles out of this giant blue bubble, right? Yeah. Charge flame. Or just ability points. Maybe I can get more blue bubbles out of that actually blue bubble thing, blue bubble. I just like saying blue bubble. It's just a great word. Even though it's two words, it's a great word. Give me energy. Oh, that actually refills the entire thing. That's cool. I mean, I clearly only have two bubbles right now. But still, it refills the entire thing. I hope that these rocks will stay broken then if I do this. Which I'm guessing they will. Uh, because it would be stupid <laughs> if it didn't. But that might be convenient. It's a nice little uh, shortcut to get back again. And I just jumped right into that frog. <laughs> Don't worry about it, though. It was part of the plan. It's to confuse the enemy, as I said previously. Can I go here? Is this a possible road? Why else would I have not gone here before? Because I had to do a double jump type dealio. That will be the raisin. That will be the raisin. So, all right, then. Back we go. At least we uh, confirmed. We confirmed. I'm guessing that's probably too high as well. So, we're just gonna keep going in the rough direction where we have to go, and we'll just come back here when we have a couple new abilities, yeah? That seems like a good idea. I hope you guys like the idea as much as me, because, man, I love that idea so much. I could marry that idea. That idea is the merriest of ideas. Give me that. Give me that. Alright. Up, then, I guess. This is gonna be another one of the playthroughs where I look at the map every seven seconds. I hope that's... Also, okay, because if not, then you should probably stop watching. I like maps. Maps make me so happy. Anyone, whoever invented the idea of a map back in 600 million years ago is probably the smartest person to have ever lived. This is probably not great. Yep. Glad I didn't come close to that too soon, and I think that was more nasty pieces that were trying to attack me there. So can I... Uh, I meant to do that to attack those guys, but I wonder if I can reach that thing to the left. Because it's there, and I want to touch it. Uh, it looks pretty far away, though. Can I swing this if I just use momentum? Because it does look sort of swing a little bit, but... I'm guessing that's probably not possible. I'm guessing it's just a little visual effect, and I'm not actually moving all that much. Can I attack this? No. It looks really far away as well, but I guess I can just give it a shot. What do we got to lose, right? I just want to have, like, a little run-in, and then... 
Nope. <laughs> it's like perfectly far away enough to not be able to reach it. So it's like they considered this as an option and made it mostly just to tease you of the idea that there's something there, but you don't quite have the ability to actually reach it yet. And now it's impossible to jump back on top of this and uh, I can no longer beat the game. All right, there we go. Secretly, this was all part of my master plan to just grind for experience by just killing this thing over and over, but uh, no, it was not. It was... I was curious. I wanted to explore. I like the little sneaky loading screens, though. You might not even see them on the video, but there's like these little moments where it seemingly unloads stuff, and then the frame rate, like, you, you lose like a single frame of existence. It's very odd to explain, I suppose, but it just briefly stutters, I guess, is a more apt way of putting it. And I notice it, but you guys might not. I don't know how Fraps is going to make this show up. Either way, blow it all up. Man, it would have sucked if I got there without the uh, charge of boomies. That would have sucked. This sucks too. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> this looks like almost a boss battle of uh, how big that is. I don't like it. I don't want to deal with such spiders. We're just going down. Are we going down? There's just more spiders there. All right, we're going back up. All right, we're not going back. Oh, God, did I just... Wow. I think I just died. <laughs> From the look of things, at least. Oh, my God, that sent me all the way back here? Oh, that's ruthless. That is ruthless. I was not quite prepared for that. I'll just uh, teleport back there as I just do everything I just did again, I guess, because, man, I was not, was not prepared for that one at all. <laughs> hey, look, we're there again. I'm gonna put down a uh, little save point thing here for no real apparent reason. Seems like a pretty good idea. Probably want to use more of those more often from the look of things. Creating a soul link restores one life cell. That's actually not bad. That is actually not bad at all. So I might do that. Have to cause a charge one. That's really good as well. Oh my god. Yeah, both of these really complement each other really well. And then there's just a the middle one, which is like, stuff happens, I guess. Whatever. Which is probably good. There's probably some good ones in there as well, but I I do like the ideas of these a lot more, especially uh, being able to like being able to breathe underwater. What was that? Hold B to rekindle or, or tap B to act. Oh, all right, yeah, that's fair enough. It's fair enough. No worries. All right, so spiders apparently shoot spider bombs as they are known to do. Obviously, hold X to open this energy. Oh. I need energy bubbles for the energy door. That makes sense. Yeah, it does make sense. Is that yeah, that's the one where I was close to as well. So I guess that'll happen one day. This is looking squishy. I like it. Squishy squishy. Squishy squish. I wish I had energy at all and didn't just uh, make a soul flame thing. That would have been a good idea. <laughs> Wouldn't that have been a great idea to have done, but I guess these things will be happy to help. Happy to help. Oh, can I not? <sighs> Hang on. I want to make that thing fall down, but simultaneously, this looks like it has potential. Looks like it has potential, but I guess not. I guess not, whatever. Like, I know that I should be making the thing fall down, but... It, it's gonna make things happen. <laughs> you know what I get when things happen. A new path. Okay. You... Yep. I, uh, I guess we're going down because I may have accidentally destroyed our way up. Uh, just in total. Yep. Oh, yep. That's just more spikes. Good. Nice. Lovely. Hmm. Well, that'll, that'll just stay there for a while. I'm still having a good time there, I guess. I guess they're probably... Oh, yeah. Now I can just stand here without being dead. That's probably good. Um, I'm kind of scared to go in that direction, though. But I guess this might work. Yeah. Yeah, who needs to go to the scary spider when you gotta go to the happy spider where everything's great and no one's trying to kill you? Yeah, kill the big spider trying to shoot me with the thingies. That's yes, right, heal yourself up. Try to have, try, just try to imagine that just didn't just happen and everything went perfectly. Uh, need longer range attacks. <laughs> My current range attack is uh, not rangy enough. I don't like it. There's more spiders down there. Man, I want to go into the purple wawas. The purple wawas are currently not accessible to me, and I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I want to have purple wawas. That's all I want. That's where the happy times are. Oh, it's a bouncy thing. I didn't know. I wasn't actually sure. That's okay, though. We figured it out. 
We figured it out by doing the most logical thing you can probably do in a platformer video game. Uh, is this breakable? Probably not, but I'll try it anyway. No. It probably requires a lever of some sort. And I don't have one of those right now. Maybe one day I'll have the power required to open such a complicated door. But for now, we must keep going and hope we don't get destroyed. Ooh. We have gained an ability point. Man, we just keep getting those left and right. I think we just killed something with our level up, so that's cool. There's noise. I mean, there's some sort of weird dog thing there. Which is really mm, scary. But we killed it. Because we hate life. And that's how you kill things. Destroy. I killed the thing up there as well, which was totally intentional. <laughs> totally meant to do that. Told, that was that was my plan. All all this. Yep, that was yep plan. What are you talking about? That's not believable. Plan. Man, this looked like totally go throughable as well, and there's not. And there's just some weird yellow rock over there, which I want. All these jump paths, which most of them seem a bit pointless, but all right. I guess it's to get to the other side, all high like, but. I got, I got myself as a wall jump. What else could I possibly need? There's nothing in the world that could possibly accentuate my great wall jumping abilities currently. Nothing. It's impossible. Can't be done. Does this go... Oh, this also just goes up. It kind of looked like it wouldn't. kind of looked like it would go all sideways and diagonally. Did this help at all? <laughs> I mean, that's still quite a large quantity of spikes right there. I don't like that very much. I don't like that very much at all. How am I supposed to get over there with my tiny, frail body? Um, maybe with some sideways momentum. I don't know if that's actually going to help at all, but I'm going to try it anyway. Go! Hey, look at that. I believed in myself, and before you knew it, it all worked out for the better. Game saved. I probably should just be saving my game a whole bunch, just... Because why not? It'll come back anyway. Like, I'll get the energy back again afterwards, so... This dude's doing things. This dude's spawning stuff, and I don't like the... This has got awfully close to my being, and it made me worried about my life situation. Just kind of like how every other enemy does that as well. There's actually kind of a lot of nasty enemies in this game so far. A lot of enemies that have various different ways of attacking, and I have to, like, think. It's horrible. I'm not used to stuff like that. Can I make you hit this and then, like, blow it up? all cool like mm -hmm. that does not work that is not a strategy but I might be able to just use the charge attack I guess nope that does not work none of these ideas that I have are working right now what do I do what do I do with my life how am I supposed to live life if everything doesn't work I guess it's just hiding a health thing but still I want it <laughs> I want more health right now my health situation is scary literally every single moment of my life I don't like it I want happy times Keep me happy. We got this wall, which probably can't be broken. That's right. Waste that energy. Try to open doors. They can't be opened. Oh, can you help me with that door, maybe? You're awfully green. Okay, meant to do that. That was the plan. Meant, yep. Man, all these plans are going so well right now. More life cells, yeah. I, I mean, I, I definitely did not want to try to maybe, like, knock that thing all the way up there. Oh, no. Definitely not. Even though, like, they were both green. That's just coincidence. I can't even... <laughs> Alright, see you in a second. I meant to do that. I just, I was just testing the enemy, you see. I was just testing it. Testing to see if I could attack it. I cannot. <laughs> I've learned this now. With this knowledge, we can move forwards and live a new life of great happiness. Did I just get hit? I'm not... Uh, that looked weird. Looked like some explody thing went for me and then it didn't anymore. Yeah, just do that. Give me that experience. I could just stand here forever and just grape up experience that way. Grape up is a word that is commonly used to uh, talk about grinding, obviously. Oh, can I get you to hit that? No. Such a big laser is one. I can't even use you. Gosh. Gosh, golly gee. Man, you're all just horrible at this. Why can you not do a tiny hop? If all y'all could do a tiny hop, this problem would have been solved ages ago. Tiny hops would save the world. Definitely. But unfortunately, tiny hops are not meant for this world. So I guess we're not going here. Uh, <laughs> I guess this is the wrong direction. Uh, I'm just going to save the game. I can't create a soul near enemies. All right. That's, uh, that's clearly far enough. 
So, <laughs> yeah, that's good. Uh, give me that one. I'm just gonna go for this one for a while until now, I guess, because I kind of want to have these as well. Two targets at once sounds kind of good. A lot of these things sound kind of good, you know? Plus, getting an ability point, it just seems to be taking longer and longer, so... Probably not a bad idea to, like, try and save up points. Or, I don't know what I'm saying. It's just, it's just, I'm, I'm right. I'm doing the right thing right now because it's my choices and I do what I want. I don't like this guy. I don't like that guy at all. Actually, uh, he's my friend now because he just killed that enemy quite quickly. A lot quicker than I would be able to at least, so that's cool. You're my best friend now. Best friend in this world because my other only best friend has died immediately at the start of the game. I'd just like to reiterate that a couple more times as we go through this game. That my only friend in the world has immediately died in the first five minutes of the game. <laughs> oh, God. This is so mean. This is a mean thing to do at the start of a video game. I just came here to have a good time and look at what they do. Look at what they do. What's down here? What is down here? That thing. Which I, uh, I guess... Tried to grab at some point and then... Uh, didn't actually try to grab ever because uh, it was down there and I went to go up instead. But still. Yeah, it sort of counts, I guess. Uh, this might be bad. Is that a thing there? Is that is that a route that I can take? Because I kind of immediately jumped away, but... No, that's nothing. Alright. It has the potential of being a, a place where one could go, but unfortunately, I was blocked by the man. Blocked by the man once again. Oh, God. Man, he does two blips of damage. Who does that? That's ridiculous. He's totally OP. All right, that's a good map to get. Uh, it really gave me some more uh, viewing pleasure of this direction, which is where we're not going. If, well, I guess we're going there because we don't really have many choices. What was down there again? I immediately forget everything that I do, which is why I just cannot remember for the life of me what's going on. Also, what's... Yeah, I've been there. I've been there, I guess. It was just like this hole there and it was bothering me, but... What was down here? What was the reason again that we can't go here? Was it one of them lever doors? Which, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Like, I totally remember what it is. I just doubt my own remembrance. And I should probably not be doing that. Should probably not. Oh, yeah, I could go left here as well, right? <laughs> okay, left, right. Left. Yeah. I don't remember where that was, though, but I guess I've already gone in that direction. Can't go up anymore, though. So I do actually kind of regret breaking that stuff up there now. Unless I can go back there at some point. I guess if you have, like, a triple jump. Man, I wanted a triple jump now. <laughs> I want to get myself some double jump and triple jump action going on. Because, man, that would be useful. Because I could totally get back up there if I had three, uh, uh, three jumps. But then again, there's a, couple, a bunch of stuff I would be able to do here if I had three jumps. So, uh, one day, I guess. One day. Don't. Don't. Okay. Stop. Just. All right. You, can, you got nothing on me, son. You got nothing on me. I can shoot blue little laser blips. You got nothing on them laser blips, son. Nothing. I'm too strong for you. Yes, yeah, right. Yeah. Alright, so we're just gonna move on and uh, hope we don't get hit by those axes because apparently they deal like 500 damage per hit and that's bad. But, we can push rocks. We can pull rocks. Uh, do we want to pull this rock? I'm not 100% sure, I'll be honest, but there's a thing here. I want to go there. So even if we don't want to do that, I'm doing it anyway. I'll do what I want. It's clearly the way to go. It is the way to go? Alright. Yeah, I meant to do that. I meant to go the right way instantly. Even the achievement is telling me to get back here. But I, I guess it's selling it to Mr. Bubble Boy over there, but... A Gumon from the Forlorn Ruins. We must follow his steps. We must get what he stole. Very similar to uh, Rayman. Without the water vein, the Ginzo tree is closed shut. Ah. But I want to go in the Ginzo tree. How am I supposed to get in the Ginzo tree if you're going to shut the door? What's wrong with you people? Man, I was hoping I could just get away with standing still and just pressing the X button. But no, Mr. Fancy Pants can move. <laughs> Mr. Fancy Pants. Save the game! <laughs> I don't trust this area for no real apparent reason. Break the world! That's right. Get back me energy because I need it. I might not need it, but I think I will. One day. Maybe. 
And therefore, we will be prepared. Because a prepared man is twice as good as an unprepared man. And once you're twice as good as someone, then you'll have a smaller chance of being dead. I want to go there. I don't care about the left road anymore, even though it's all purple and horrible. I want to go there. What's over there? That's right. Show me the world over here. Yeah. You found an ability cell. How nice. We got two ability points right there. We could probably level up another thing in that one tree if we so desired. And I'm gonna... Yep. Don't don't jump into the purple tentacle. Just like in there, the tentacle. He's in fact evil. He is the evil one. If you see something purple, you can probably assume it's gonna damage you in some way, shape, or form. Because that's the thing that happens in this game, I guess. Also, the world to the right was unloading as I, it was still on screen, which was a little bit odd. But hey, that happens sometimes. I unload sometimes. I don't know how to deal with those situations either. Just, like, just happens sometimes. And then you're like, oh, well, I guess part of me no longer exists in this world now. How am I going to deal with that? How am I going to tell my wife? I don't even have a wife. Maybe I had one at one point, but now she's unloaded. Also, I accidentally broke this with the uh, total intention of doing that. Yep. I meant to do that all this time. I am so smart, I don't even know what I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm, I'm like two steps ahead of my, myself at all times. That's how smart I am. That's, how, that's my intelligence. That's my intelligence right there. <sighs> well, Frog Boy McBubbleson is still going, closing doors in front of my face and pretending it's not him doing it. Silly Frog Boy McBubbleson. That's his full name as well. Oh boy, oh god, oh jeez, every- mm, oh no, oh boy, Ev oh god. Uh, you there, please don't hit attack me at all, ever. Thanks. I'm gonna save the game, because it heals me. Then I'm gonna check out the ability tree to calm down for a moment. This is pretty good, I think, because healing two health is kind of nice, you know? And it, it also means that I'm only one point away from being able to breathe in clean water. Although we haven't actually seen clean water yet, so I guess that's also a point. And these two only require one each. And that's also kind of cool. Now we're getting to both, like both of these things are getting to the point where I'm going to need uh, one or two points for both of them, but whatever. 